What's up, this is EasyOSX, and let's talk about what happens if your Mac won't update. So to clarify, what we mean by this is that if you go to the App Store, or if you go to Software Update, and you see there's an update available, but your Mac will not perform that update. This could be a security patch, this could be a whole new point version of Mac OS. For whatever reason, your Mac will not update. Let's talk about how to potentially resolve that. Now, before you begin, you want to make sure if you're having updates that aren't working, you want to make sure that you have a backup of your data. This could be through something like Dropbox or OneDrive, Google Drive. You can, of course, have external backup drives like Time Machine or Carbon Copy Cloner. But have a backup of your data before we begin. The beginning of this video is going to show you some easy things to check first before you begin. Things that could save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches. If you've already tried these things or you're a little bit more technically savvy, you can skip to the timestamp shown in this part of the video and then we'll start with the more advanced troubleshooting options. Now the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you actually have enough room on your hard drive. If you don't, your update's not going to download. Now most point patches, most security patches are anywhere from a few hundred megs to a couple gigs in size depending on the amount of data it has to download and install. What you want to do is first to check how much data space you have. Go and hit get info on the Macintosh HD in the sidebar. Or you can also go to about this Mac and then go to the storage tab. But then you'll be able to see this, how much hard drive space you have, how much is available for you to use, and how much has already been used. In this case, I've got about half my hard drive still available to me. That's plenty of space. Most recommendations are going to be for at least 10% of your hard drive available. If you're just trying to get the update, make sure that you have about, I'd say, 10 to 15 gigs of free space available just to be on the safe side. Now, assuming you have enough space, the next thing I'd recommend is just do a restart of your Mac. There's a lot of problems that'll be solved by just rebooting your machine. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's obviously a pretty well-known joke in IT, but restarting your machine really can solve a bunch of problems, including problems with updating. If you've already done these things, if you've already checked these things and you are good to go and you still can't download that security patch or that new point version to Mac OS, then we need to look at some more advanced options. And the first thing to do is actually go to Apple's website. We're going to go to this website here, support.apple.com forward slash downloads. And I'll have this link in the description as well. This is a download page for all of Apple's updates, patches, things like that. In this case, uh, the downloads page will just show you the most recent downloads available, but you can also sort by iTunes, iOS, macOS, etc. Like I said, the most recent updates are going to be here, um, but if you want to look for a particular update, for example, if you're on Catalina like I am, you can type in Catalina and search and it'll show you all the updates available. Now in most cases, if you are just needing to go to a point release, I would recommend downloading the combo update. Uh, in this case, the most recent version of macOS is 10.15.3. The combo update will bring in not only the most recent patch, but all the previous patches before it. So this is really useful if, say, you're on a couple versions behind of the uh, OS. So if you're on Catalina and you're only on 10.15.0, the most recent version is 10.15.3, instead of you having to download 15.1, 15.2, and then 15.3, you can download the combo update and that will give you all the updates for 15.3, 2, and 1 all in a single batch. If you are looking only for a particular update, let's say for example you're on Mojave and you only need the most recent security patch, then you can go here, you can see this has Mojave, and you can download it. Or if you don't see it on this page, of course, you can go and search it right up here. Hit download on the file when you're ready to go. Let it download. Once it's done, go ahead and open it. Then double click the install package and run through the prompts. Now this may take some time and of course these will require reboot more often than not. So make sure that you've got all your files saved, you've got everything closed up and you're ready to reboot. Now in the vast majority of cases, this should actually solve most people's problems. These combo updates or the manual download install of updates will actually fix 
most, if not everyone's problem. That being said, if you are still running into problems, there are a couple of things we can try. The first being safe mode. In order to get to safe mode, you're going to have to restart your machine and hold down the shift key on the keyboard. Safe mode is a mode on Mac that only turns on the bare minimum that the Mac needs to run. So apps that you have set to run on startup, antivirus apps, even certain drivers will not start up when the Mac turns on. You may notice some graphical glitches, certain like rotating panels or certain things loading a little bit slower, but it is essentially the bare minimum the Mac needs to run. And you'll know that you're in safe mode because when it gets to the login screen, it will have the words in red safe mode up in the top right hand corner. From here, go ahead and just try to reinstall the update either from the package that you downloaded or from the built-in software update tool. If you're still having problems, the next step to try is checking and repairing any corruption with macOS. And we're going to use the built-in disk utility tool to check and repair any. So to get to that, we're going to go to the applications folder and scroll down to the utilities folder and open disk utility. When you get here, you're going to select on the Macintosh HD, or you can also select the Apple SSD or whatever kind of hard drive you have and hit the first aid button. And you're going to run this. Ideally, this should come back and say that all the first aid is complete and that they either didn't find anything or that you in fact repaired something. Likewise, you're going to want to run this on the Macintosh HD. This will slow down your Mac while it's running, so just be prepared for that. Likewise, ideally it should come back and say that either you don't have any corruption or that it fixed some corruption. After this, go ahead and try to run the updates again. If this doesn't work, then we need to go to the next step which is to go into Mac recovery mode. In order to get to recovery mode, you're going to need to turn off your machine and when turning it back on, hold down the command and the R keys at the same time. Alternatively, if you have a Mac recovery USB drive, then you can plug that into your computer and hold down the option key. Once it comes up, you'll see a list of drives that you can select. Select your Mac recovery drive and click on that to then boot into the flash drive's recovery mode. Once you boot into recovery mode, you should see a screen much like this. The first thing we're going to do is click on Disk Utility and run the same sort of repair steps that we did in the previous step. This should allow us to better be able to fix and repair any sort of errors and corruption in the drive that the previous Disk Utility wasn't able to fix. That being said, in the event that this also fails or it cannot repair any other corruption on the drive, then we need to go and do a reinstall of the Mac system. Now, this is a non-destructive reinstall. If you close out Disk Utility and go back and hit this Reinstall Mac OS icon, then you'll be able to reinstall Mac OS on the hard drive. This is, like I said, this is non-destructive, meaning that you should not and will not lose any files and data. That being said, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's a very good idea to go ahead and make sure that you already have a backup, be it on an external drive or a cloud storage service. This will also take about an hour to do, so make sure that if you're going to do this, that you aren't going to need the machine for at least an hour or so. But once you've finished, you should have a fresh copy of macOS, all the corruption and issues should be gone, and then you should be able to try to install the updates again. If all of these solutions fail, unfortunately it means the most likely fix is going to be to completely wipe and reload the Mac. It's unfortunate, but this is the most likely scenario. That being said, most people shouldn't have to reach this point. One of these solutions typically works, especially around the combo update phase. So hopefully you shouldn't have to get to this point in the video. But with all that said, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. You can also check us out on easyosx.net and on social media. Links in the description. Thanks again for watching.